Um, I, I am a big believer in you need to be developing your voice to where it is changing and growing at all times, you know, for, for men and women, certainly until they're really honestly in their mid to late thirties. Um, especially in musical theater, you have to be careful. There are people putting their voices through a cheese grater because they're trying to reach these notes and they are not doing it in a healthy, responsible way. First and foremost, when you are approaching any kind of singing, but certainly musical theater singing, um, you have to be very careful because the scores that are written, you know, especially now that we are, we are, you know, in a good 20 year span of uh, the the Wicked's, the um, you know, Rent, these 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 scores that are asking more and more of a voice in terms of like, ah, you know, <laughs> and that's great, but. You have to remember that ultimately these composers are writing for pieces to be done eight times a week and ideally for them to be done responsibly and healthily. So there is also the element of a challenge to sing something vocally, but then also we are storytellers. We need to communicate a lyric. We need to um, further the play in what is being told through these songs. And our goal here is to teach and nurture how to support and develop the voice just as a technical instrument before we add any lyrics to it. And, and learning how to do things that allow us to sing these scores but sing them healthily and not damage our instrument. But also combine with that an emotional approach. Um, one of the biggest things that I encounter um, since I have been here is that people believe and they use this language of that there is, um, that you have more than one voice. I have a, a belt voice, I have a legit voice, I have a, you know, my full voice, then I have my falsetto. I have, and, and I don't agree with that. Um, you have one voice. And what our job is, is to train these young people to know when to navigate into the different colors or sections of that one voice and to embrace those different sections. I think a lot of times there is a stigma of some sort of fail or failure or relinquishing of skill once I have to transition into my mix sound or once I have to transition into absaggio or falsetto sound. And, and that is not only um, a very defeatist way to approach singing, um, you're gonna miss out on some of the best qualities of your voice if you choose to develop it in the right way. The voice is a muscle, just like with anything else on your body. So you've gotta learn how to navigate it, how to use it, how to take care of it, and how to treat it with respect and also, you know, have it be sustainable. Then separate from that, once that technique and that care is a given and always present, then you learn to deliver a lyric. That's a really big, important passion of ours here, to really honor both of them and then take it the next step of see how beautifully they work together.